A reporter's account of her arrest clashes with Los Angeles. Uh, arrest clashes with Los Angeles Sheriff's Department statement. Okay, okay, let's look at this one. Uh, reporter arrested deputies from the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department det detained reporter. I don't know how to say this. Guys, how do you say this? Josie? Josie Hung? Josie Hung on Saturday uh, claiming she did not identify herself to them while covering a protest covering a protest footage that Hong uh, released, however, paints a much different picture of how her arrest unfolded. By the way, Ethan, if you want to call this fake news, I uh, I really like uh, Rogue Rocket. Rogue Rocket has been proven to be so far, I mean, I may be wrong, to be a very unbiased, objective source of uh, not just news, but analysis of what happened, right? Uh, it's like it shows both sides and you know not just both sides for the sake of both sides it seems to be i like this source okay uh hung was out by the way link to this article is in the description if you guys want to check it out yourself hung was outside saint uh, francis medical center in linwood neighborhood of la covering a press conference held by lasd about two di oh about two okay while that was happening, about two deputies who were shot. Er oh, no, no. She was covering. Maybe. I did the same. Covering a press conference held by LSA, uh, LASD about two deputies who were shot earlier that night. She heard a commotion and noticed a small gathering of protesters, then began to record their interactions with officers. Uh, what happened next varies depending on whose account you read. See, okay, again, Ethan, when you say this is fake news, this is this this news article is trying to look at everyone now, everyone's statement. It's trying to look what the police is saying, and it's also trying to see what the reporter is saying. So you can't call this fake news. Hi, hi, Murtad Skeptic. Uh, early on Sunday morning, LS LASD tweeted a thread uh, saying deputies dis, uh, dispersed a group blocking the emergency entrance and exits of the hospital. One protester refused to comply and was arrested. Okay, so this is the official report that we have from the police. They tweeted it. They're like, oh, the reporter was arrested because she refused to comply. Okay. By the way, Ethan, I wanted to say something. If you decide what news is correct and what news is not correct based on your political um, leanings, then you have to like do some self-reflection, right? Like, do you decide what news you, you consider to be true based on what you want to be true? Like, you have to, like, sometimes the news could be true, you know. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I'm not saying you're doing that, but I'm just doing some self reflection, okay? Um, AJ is saying, I saw all the videos on this. The cops are definitely lying. We're going to play the videos. Uh, during, okay, so this is the statement from the police. During his arrest, his arrest. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. During his arrest, a struggle in, ensued at which time a female adult ran towards the deputies. Okay, guys, this is in the official statement by the police. They're saying a female adult ran towards the deputies. Um, Ethan is saying, Ethan is saying, I went to her Twitter page to investigate. It was pretty clear what happened. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad that you're here so you could educate us. Okay. Uh, so the female adult ran. So the, is the Ethan is the police lying as well, or is it just the reporter? Because the police is saying that the female adult ran towards the deputies, ignore repeated commands to stay back as they struggle with the male, and interfered with the arrest. Uh, the department's uh, threat continued. The the woman being ref referenced here is Hong. She and her protester. She and the protester were both arrested for violating, uh, vi violating obstruction laws. Okay, okay, okay. Continues. LASD claims that uh, LASD claims that Hong did not identify herself as a reporter and did not have credentials on her person. Okay, okay, Ethan. See, are you going to be able to back up this claim by the cops here? Are you going to be able to back up this claim? Uh, however, she po she posted a thread of her own later in the day, which included footage she took 
where she can be heard identifying herself as a reporter for KPCC, LA's local NPR station. Guys, I mean, I'm, imagine what would happen if none of this was recorded, right? I mean, imagine all of this shit happening when they, all of this stuff were not being recorded before, like before we had all these phones and cameras everywhere. This is why we need body cams. Body cams that the cops cannot turn off. For fuck's sake, why that is not a thing? Like, why do why do you have so much money spent on cameras and all this like taxpayer money is being used for body cams and the police can turn it off? Like, what is the reason why they are able to turn it off? I never understood that. You already have it there. Just leave it running. In one tweet, she says she had her press ID on a linear, lanyard uh, around her neck, which footage from ABC7 uh, confirms. She also posted videos that she took of the protesters and said that in the beginning, no one took issues with her being there. Oh, hey, St. Susanna is here. Hey, St. Susanna. Hello, Susanna. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Let's see what this. Uh, this is a reporter. This is herself. Am, am I pronouncing her name right? Josie. Josie Hung. Josie Hung is saying after the press conference, I went to my car in the hospital garage and was trying things. Oh, tying things up uh, on the phone with one of my editors. It was almost 11 p.m. Then I heard loud shouting outside the garage, so I went to check things out. I had uh, I had on a linear uh, lanyard is that how you say it? around my neck with a press ID okay and I guys there's footage of this around her neck oops shouldn't have clicked on that there's footage of this around her neck okay let's continue a handful of men were on the sidewalk a couple were carrying r large flags others were filming uh, deputies and taunting them one deputy pointed a weapon at the protesters. I started filming on my phone, standing off uh, to the side. No one took issues with me being there. Okay, so this is a f let's watch this first video. Let me know if you have audio. Right? Aye, aye. Are you going to do this? Are you going to play any day now? <laughs> So that was just her her footage. That was her one of. Uh, she's just po pointing out that this is some of the uh, videos that she was taking. You guys had audio of the uh, uh, when I started playing the video, right? Um, after the group dispersed, officers continued to follow one man. Hong says she followed from a distance and zoomed in on her phone to capture the encounter. As she approached a squad car, authorities told her to back up. She said. She had nowhere to go and was quickly, oh, and was quickly shoved around by officers. Okay, let's watch this. So jo Josie Hung is saying, I texted video to editors. Yeah, let's actually play this. I walked behind using his, oh yeah, we already read that. Oh, so she's following the, look, she's following the car. So Wait, anyone, is anyone in live chat going to tell me that they have, you have audio when I play the video? Nobody's telling me that. Here's more of the video. The Zoom is still on. I saw a, com a commotion ahead of me. Deputies rushed one man and uh, chased another. I was filming an arrest when suddenly deputies shot back, sh sh shout back up. With, uh, within seconds, I was getting shoved around. There was nowhere to back up. Okay. Oh. oh, see, see, they were arresting one guy. This guy is running away. Oh, 
worry. You don't get need to get so handsy, okay? First of all, you need to – okay, so it's important for uh, for you to keep enough distance for the police to be able to do their job, but the police also needs to be able to let the journalists do their, their job as well, right? Like, there needs to be some mutual respect here because the, this shit needs to be covered. That's the whole point of having journalists, right? The footage then shoved. Uh, the footage then sh- uh, shoved her point. Oh, showed, showed, showed her point of view as she was toppled to the ground, screaming in pain. And she, okay, so let's see. Like they said, the police said that she didn't identify herself as a reporter, but now she's say now they're saying in this video you could hear her saying, "I'm a reporter. I'm with KPCC." She yelled. The screen eventually goes black but she can be heard calling for help and repeating that she is a member of the press. Eventually an officer stepped and this is, this is, this is the part that pisses me off. An officer stepped on her phone while she tells them she is heard. Let me see. We have devil's advocate here. Um, Ethan is saying at that point in time, she was just a bystander with a cell phone. No, she's a report. First of all, She's a reporter re- re- documenting the scene. And even if she wasn't a reporter, it's important for civilians to also be able to document what's happening. I mean, okay, here's the thing. Let's see. Chartu is saying, somehow I was able to start a new video right away. You see my phone uh, clatter to the ground and I start shouting, I'm a reporter. Okay, let's see. Let's see if she's. Oh, You hear that? She said, I'm a reporter. So the police clearly said that she didn't identify herself as a reporter. But you could clearly hear audio here that she said, I'm a reporter. Wait, um, AJ is saying, as long as they are not interfering with the police duties. Yeah, that's what, yeah. And she wasn't. She was, she had enough distance. Ethan is saying, please take note that she was just up in their business and had it identify herself. She wasn't. She had enough distance from them. Like you see in the video that she wasn't like obstructing anything that they were doing at all. When they started touching her, when they started coming at her, she wasn't obstructing them. And again, again, Ethan, please note that their police statement says that she didn't identify her for the poli- as their, uh, herself as a reporter, but you could clearly hear her saying here when they were arresting her that she's like, she's a reporter. <laughs> 